I have circles in my light. Circles in my light? <laughs> Are we live? What's up guys, it's JB here and this is a different setup. I'm just here chilling in front of this camera. I'm gonna keep this intro short and sweet. Basically, I'm gonna answer your questions today in honor of me hitting 10,000 subscribers. So thank you guys for all the support and all right. Ugh. I made this video, I took to Twitter a couple months ago actually asking you guys if you want me to do a QA and a and you guys sent me some questions so I got around to it right now and I'm just gonna read off questions here off my laptop and yeah, let's do it. Why do you dress like that? This is actually a friend of mine, Dana. I know you're watching this. Um, this is Forever 21 Influencer. Thank you for always commenting on my outfits. Today I'm just chilling in a plain white t-shirt. It says purpose, the period. I'm chilling some Adidas sweatpants, so I hope you approve of that outfit. Thanks for always making fun of me. <laughs> Who are your closest friends in LaSalle? Quick life update. I committed to LaSalle University earlier this year. I'm serving my red shirt year, my residency year, so that I can play next year. And a couple of guys that I've been close to ever since I've been here. Shout out to my boys, to Anna Samuel and Brandon Bates. I'm gonna plug your stuff, go follow them on Instagram. These two guys were recruits that kind of came in around the same time as I did. We lived together, we hung around with each other a lot. I'm meshing really well with all the guys on the team, but these two guys I could relate to because I did not grow up here in the Philippines. Two really, really cool dudes, shout out to you. Favorite lady, Spiker, na na na. Raylene asks, would it be possible na ma-in love ka sa isang fan girl? Yung ibig sabihin na to, basically guys, would it be possible for me to be in love with a fan of mine? And this is my simple answer to that question. If, if my girlfriend is not a fan of me, then I don't think she'd be my girl. I hope my future girl is a fan of me. Yes, I hope my girl is a fan girl of me. Did I say that right? If you were given a chance to have a power, what would it be and why? You know, two things pop into my mind, I think. Ability to fly and invisibility. You know, we, we've all been there, we wanna know what's going on behind the scenes, what people are talking about us and all that. Nah, forget, I wanna fly, forget that! Like, come on. Like, I wanna go bungee jumping and skydiving really bad, because I like, I think a free falling experience would be insane, so to, to be able to fly, Shout out Superman, all those boys. <laughs> Y'all ever wonder, okay. Y'all ever wonder how Superman goes faster? All right, so let's say he's flying like this, right? However, right? And I'm flying, however he flies, he puts his fists up, right? Y'all ever wonder like how he goes faster? So does he like? <laughs> like he doesn't pedal or it, so like. <laughs> See, flex, okay, anyway. Yeah, I wanna fly. What's the sweetest thing that a fan did to you? Okay, this is amazing. Story time. All right guys, on my last birthday, May 31st, while I was in class, I got a series of message requests on Instagram that I happened to open and then they were all saying that, hey, a friend of mine is waiting for you outside the school building. I actually replied to one of them and said, I think I had class for three hours more. So I told them, hey, sorry, I'm in class right now. To, to my surprise, I when I had left the school building, I came upon this girl that was there waiting for me, said she waited for me for three or four hours there with a chocolate cake with my name on it and basically just wanted to wish me a happy birthday. So that definitely made my birthday, definitely made my night. I think I have a picture of it. And I was very grateful for that. So Someone was looking for me, waiting for me for four hours just to give me a customized birthday cake on my birthday. So you birthday. just gonna bring me a birthday gift on my birthday to my birthday party on my birthday with a birthday gift? What's your favorite Filipino food? Since I've been here in the Philippines, pork sisig, I love pork sisig. They have a really nice one at Gary's Grill. Is it Gary or Jerry's? At Jerry's Grill they have some bomb sisig, so I love me some good sisig. 
But back home though, back in the US where I'm from, my mom cooks me some good Filipino food and she makes some really good sinigang. Sinigang gang gang. How's life in La Salle so far since I've been here? The team, the coaches, management, everything going on in school, the support I have, those people around me, relationships I've built since I've been here, 10 out of 10. Everything's going really smoothly and I really, really feel at home already here at La Salle, even though it hasn't even been a year of my stay here, but I'm loving it so far, guys. Great question, why is your jersey number 22? I don't have 22 on me. All right, there's a jersey up there, the GOAT. Number nine for the Olympics, Michael Jordan. My parents were crazy Chicago Bull fanatics and really huge Michael Jordan fans. And when I was born during the 97 playoffs at the peak of his game, at the prime, they were watching Michael Jordan play in the hospital as I was born. So it was a no-brainer, they had to name me Jordan, so that's the reason for my name. Since then, as I grew older, you know, understanding where the origin of my name, I watched Michael Jordan highlights my whole life, and I don't want to hear anything from nobody. MJ is the greatest player of all time. So MJ, greatest player of all time, 23, being a basketball player myself, I wanted to strive to be as good as this man that I looked up to. I knew that no one would ever be better than him, so I wanted to be just as good. So the best thing after 23 is 22. So other than that, dual reason, my dad actually wore 22. He was a college football player. Shout out to you, Pops. Shout out to the family, mom, dad, Chris. I miss you guys. See you soon. What is your ideal girl? When I look for a girl, these are like, those like intangible, the sellers for me, like I want, I want my girl to be funny, genuine, down to earth, personable. The top two things I look for when I talk as far as a life partner, I want to be with someone that's strong in the faith. Strong in the faith. Faith. <laughs> All right, what I mean by that is uh, I'm a born again Christian and above all things in my life, the number one priority for me is to grow spiritually and in my walk with Christ and to be a servant and disciple to those people around me and those people I encounter and just to have a life partner that will be able to sharpen my iron, someone that I can grow with spiritually and that will make me a better Christian. Secondly, I want a girl that's highly driven and passionate towards something just as much as I am. All right, besides number one, there's nothing more attractive to me than that. Ah, I hope that wasn't too cringy, guys. What are the, what is slash are the things you are thankful for? I'm thankful for my family, my friends. I'm thankful for my school, for my, for my teammates, for the opportunity I have here to play the sport I love and to be doing it in a comfortable situation. Just to have a family that supports is behind me in every decision I made coming over here in the Philippines. There's too many to list, but basta those are the most important. What's your favorite basketball move? I love the spin move. My go-to spin move. Quote to yourself. For myself, I'm gonna quote somebody else, something I grew up kind of living by. Hard work beats talent when talent doesn't work hard. KD made that quote great. KD and I went to the same high school. Shout out to Montrose Christian. This is where a lot of my game started. So basically what that quote means is no matter how naturally talented and gifted you are, if you're not willing to put the work in, being able to go through growing pains and get up and master your craft at times where you're feeling the worst, then you won't get as far as that person who busts their butt every single day. Work ethic has always been something that I tried to separate myself from everyone around me and that's something I've always lived by. What are you taking up in college? Business management. I know you're already playing for DLSU, but what's your most favorite experience slash memory of NU? Um, the NU pep rally was a lot of fun. You go check that video out. I had a, I had a great time. Preseason, I had a great time. That was something that just struck out to me right away, so I'm gonna go with that. What is your favorite Filipino word? What? Do I even have a favorite English word? What shoes do you always wear when playing? I mix it up sometimes, but to keep it general, I always wear Nike slash Jordan stuff. Jordan, Jordan shoes just make sense, right? I like Kyrie's, but I switch it up, so I don't really have a go-to shoe. Gosh, are you pissing, bro, in the middle of my Q&A? Right. My man left the door open and everything. <laughs> Favorite tourist spot in the Philippines. I haven't traveled too much, so I don't, I don't think I can give you a great opinion right now. Are you excited to play for LaSalle? Yes. 
When did you start playing basketball? Story time, my dad was picking me up from the gym. I was like playing around, crawling on the ground with a basketball. And according to them, he picked me up, put me on his shoulder, we started walking away, and the ball was there on the floor, and then I reached out. Baby Jordan, imagine. Ball, ball. However my parents described it, so my first word was ball, so you can imagine I've been playing it ever since I can remember. What's your favorite thing to do when you have free time? I don't know, my hobbies include playing video games, going out trying new things with my friends. I do this YouTube thing sometimes, it's definitely a hobby of mine. I love eating, I love I love me some Italian cuisine, some Mexican. I like trying new, I'm not really that picky, so if you guys, my friends hit me up, if you guys wanna get some grub, I'm down always. Dunk or Euro step, dunk, I've done Several more Euro steps in my life. Not even compared, I've only dunked like five times. I'm gonna get my balance up soon, mark my words. Eating spots at top. Only thing I can think of, Aterica's boxy load. You guys leave in the comments, what's your favorite place to eat at in La Salle or in the top area? Let me know so I can check some of these places out. Can you say this word? <sighs> here we go, here goes nothing. I've heard people say these words before, like, they make foreigners, this is like the most popular tongue twister. I've never, like, tried it, but here we go. Nakakak, papa, I'm gonna go slow first, alright? Nakakapagpa, pagabag. Nakakapagpapagabag, pagbag. Alright, no, that's not for me, that's not for me. Siblings, I have one sister, her name is Krista Bartlett. I'm hoping to see you here soon, Krista. Come visit, ooh yeah. One place you wanna go in the Philippines and abroad. Abroad, I wanna go to Paris, France, and here I wanna go to Palawan. I really wanna experience a beautiful beach. Let's make that happen, someone let me know. What's the meaning behind your username? Another great question. I am half a flip. H-A-L-F-A-F-L-I-P. Look, I've had, ever since I've had those social media accounts for like over five years, uh, funny story, like, I needed to make a name. If you didn't know, I'm half Filipino. My other half, I am a quarter Caucasian and a quarter Portuguese. Why don't I make it something based on my blood, like, uh, where I'm from? At the time, I was, I was thinking, Filipinos are called flips. Like, that's what they call, like, I thought that was a slang. I don't know who told me that. I was highly mistaken. So I, put, I made my name half a flip, half a Filipino, right? Like, I realized, like, over the next year or two that that really wasn't, it's not a term people use for Filipinos. I don't know, who told me that? But, flip, Filipino. Can we go, can we make it a thing in 2018? Half a flip, half a Filipino, that's who I am. It has nothing to do with aerial flips or anything like that. So yeah, I think that's it. I answered a bunch of questions. I'm gonna just try to cut this down. You guys, just continue to support and watch. Uh, I got a lot more content coming. Shoot me some ideas, leave some comments. Subscribe, leave a like on this video. I want you to turn, I've never said this in a video, but turn the notifications on, post notifications. It's that bell right there. Uh, if you do that, you'll get notified every time I post a video. Thank you to you guys again. 10K, 10,000 subscribers, man. Thank you so much. This was just a hobby of mine and it, I turned out to have a decent platform for it. So I hope you guys got to know me a little better through this video. And yeah, stay tuned for more content. I'm out.